Hey everybody, Rodimus2099, and this guy is uh, huge. Uh, so huge that I have to edit the backdrop, so I can't use this normal cardboard one I gotta use. I gotta use a bigger one. There we go. Now I can fit in the Hellbat suit, which is the brand new, newest suit of armor for Batman. Uh, why would Batman need a suit of armor? <laughs> I don't know, uh, but he does need one. So, uh... Do I like this figure? I was definitely on the fence about him at first. Um, also, if my my voice sounds any weird, it's because I'm sick, my throat hurts, my ears, I can only hear out of one ear, so if I sound a lot louder or a lot quieter than I usually do, it's because of that. I'm also probably deep voice boy. Um, but this guy, I was originally worried about him. Because I always have that worrisomeness with um figures who are big, and also who are in armor, because sometimes with armor, it's hard to get their arms right. It's weird. Every figure that I have that's in, like, a suit of armor always has really weird arms, uh, except for Iron Man. It's not a suit of armor, but I mean, like, Batman's and Spider-Man's and anyone, really, except for Iron Man, because his body is proportional. But yeah, this guy is... Not. And I was also worried about inconsistencies. This line brought us a really good amount of consistencies with three guys in the Build-A-Figure wave. Uh, you know, the Batmobile Build-A-Figure that Batman can, I guess, stand on. Um, those figures are decent. They're all kind of up to the same quality. They all have the same elbow style, same swivel, same stuff. But this guy... I was worried about and also the Superman because their arms are different their arms are single joints that's probably the worst thing that can happen uh, to a figure of his size that didn't need to happen sometimes they have to do it because his arms are a too bulky they wouldn't pass through but this is a suit of armor Batman's arm if he can do a double joint his suit of armor should do the same thing and also if you Take the arms down, as usual. Uh, yeah, they're past his knees. That's not how your body should look. And it looks weird. It looks definitely weird. You have to have him posed like this. That's why I was worried, because all the photos were neutral photos. Also, you see these wings? Yeah, they look badass. Imagine how you're going to have to pose him to get those wings in your, your shelf. That's probably the most annoying thing that I can think of. I mean, to try to put this guy in a posing shelf, and I pose coolly in a shelf where his wings can be splayed out. I'm gonna have a big shelf, man. My man. All right, let's get on to some size comparison. Here's the other McFarlane figure that I have from this line. Batman Who Laughs. He is, of course, significantly taller than him. About a head tall. Um, and, yeah, Batman Who Laughs is probably the best figure so far that I have. And I have another one. I'm not saying who, because I want to wait to review them. Why am I going to wait? Because I don't want to get behind on my other stuff. So, <laughs> this guy really does have a lot of stuff going for him that's strong. His look is not only imposing, but perfectly done. To make sure that you see him, and he's big, and he's bulky, and he's medieval. He's a great choice. It does beg the question. Is McFarlane not going to do any more Batman figures? Because honestly, I would like that. I would like a break from Batman. <laughs> I would like a couple figures from... I would like an Aquaman figure in an armor suit. I'd like more Batmans who are different. Not this type of different, who you could say is just a suit. I mean, Batman who laughs. Da Dawnbreaker. Red, uh... What is it? Red? Red? It's red something. Um, uh... Red Wing? No, not Red Wing. That's a sports team. Um, Red Death. That's his name. Red Death. And the Merciless and the Murder Machine. And all of those guys who are different versions of Batman. That would be a lot cooler to get instead of just comic book Batman. Animated Batman. Armored Batman. Batman who Joker. Um, honestly. But I understand, hey, if you get a DC license, you got three characters that are just bound to sell. Joker, Batman, Superman. Those figures will always sell. They'll always go off prices. 
And that's what you get when you want to introduce the kids to something. You do Batman, you do Joker, you do... Maybe you won't want to do Joker anymore. But you do Batman and you do Superman. Then you have your day. You get your money and you get out. So yeah. Do I think that this is the best figure so far out of McFarlane? No. Is he going to look great on my, on my shelf? Fuck yeah. Is he fun? Hell yeah. I'm definitely pissed off by the arms and the elbows. It really did annoy me. So I wanted to give this guy... <gasps> Oh, buy two along with pre-order, but I have to give this guy. I'll just I'll pre-order him, or I'll wait. I, I'll give him a. I'll pre-order him. That's a higher ranking than I'll just wait. Um, I do plan on getting the Superman figure, and I do plan on getting the comic Batman and Superman. I don't think I'm gonna get the animated versions. I don't find the need to. Um, and also, I don't know, I'm probably not going to get that Harley Quinn figure. I'm probably going to get the Birds of Prey one, because I am excited for that after all. Um, But I probably won't get too many of this line beginning stuff. I don't want to get the animated ones. That John Stewart Green Lantern, though, looks okay. Who knows? You're going to have to wait on that. And other news, you all said resounding, well, two of you, I guess, hmm. <laughs> Two of you said, hey, you should do full wave reviews. Um, I want to, of course, but I don't buy full waves. I, I, I'm not that type of guy. Um, there's a couple figure. there's definitely a couple waves that I'm like, I'm going to buy the full wave if I know every character in it. So, instead of that, instead of just doing individual ones, I'm actually going to do double ups. So, you will see the first double up reviews, not being tomorrow, but being Wednesday. It will be Volt. Yeah, Vulture and, uh, no, not Vulture. No, my bad. Uh, the Spider Armor and the Superior Spider-Man. You'll see those both together in one review, and that will be it. So, anyway, don't don't complain. Vulture's getting his own solo review, because I do like him. And also, I'm, I'm having an odd number with this wave anyway, because I'm buying only five of them. Skipping, skipping, White Rabbit. There's nothing that you can make me do to buy her. I might even scalp her. Uh, I, I wouldn't. I'm not that type of guy. I wouldn't do that. Don't think I would do that. No, stop.